Hey guys, we are going to be looking at alternate angles on a parallel line. So, to start off with the proof, uh, we had two parallel lines and we're going to have our transversal cutting the two parallel lines. And let's just see, we're trying to prove the relationship between the angle red, angle R and angle B. Now if you've been watching this series, you know before this we actually covered corresponding angles on a parallel line and because of that what we do know is that angle R is going to be the same as angle G so we can say angle R equals angle G because we know that well because we know that corresponding angles are equal on parallel lines now that we know that angle G equals well if you look at angle G and angle B, we can actually say that they're the same because angle G is equal to angle B because they're actually vertically opposite angles and we know that vertically opposite angles are equal. Now, if R, angle R equals G and angle G equals B, then we can clearly say that the red angle is actually the same as the blue angle. So we can actually say R equals to B. And that's because of this reason here that alternate angles are equal when it's uh, in parallel lines. That's what this reasoning would, would be. Okay, let's have a look at an example. All right, same situation as um, what we have on the left-hand side. We've got angle X, we've got 75 degrees, and we want to actually find out what X is. Now, I guess what, what I'm trying to tell you guys is that you can, you probably can use corresponding angles and then use vertically opposite. But why do two reasonings when you can just do the simple one, which is alternate angles? So in this case, you can clearly say that angle X equals 75 degrees because alternate angles are equal in parallel lines. And that's about it, folks, for this session. So thank you for watching.